When working in After Effects, one of the most frustrating things can be long RAM preview and render times. Ideally, you could upgrade your computer with as much RAM as you wanted, but this is not always plausible. Now, you also want to make sure that you are running After Effects 64-bit if your computer is compatible, and lastly, make sure that you turn off every program that you aren't using, as they are greedy and suck RAM that After Effects could be using. Now, in After Effects, there are a few settings that you can adjust to allocate more RAM to it and away from other programs. To modify these settings, go up to Edit, and then down to Preferences, and then go over to Memory and Multiprocessing. In this box, you can see how much RAM you currently have on your computer and how much After Effects is using versus the other programs. Now, if you are only using After Effects, I recommend turning down the RAM reserved for other applications. You can also check the box that says Render Multiple Frames Simultaneously if you have multiple processor cores in your computer. This will take advantage of those cores and allow your renders and RAM previewing to move much more quickly. The settings in the memory and multiprocessing area are all you will generally need to adjust to get more speed while using After Effects, but if you are still having speed issues you can go to the Media and Disk Cache tab and click the Enable Disk Cache checkbox. For improved performance you can increase the maximum disk cache size. To completely maximize this area's capacity you can even run the disk caching through a large external hard drive. Caching works by storing already rendered frames to a hard drive because it is often faster to grab those than to re-render the files. Cached frames are indicated in After Effects by the blue line in the timeline. Lastly, some users may have crash issues associated with RAM while rendering. If you fall into this category, then you can click OK, and then go back up to Edit, then down to Preferences, and then hold Shift and select any item. In the tabs, you should now see a tab called Secret that was not there before. In this tab, you can check the box called Disable Layer Cache and set the purge higher than zero. This will increase your render time, but should allow you to make it through the render without it crashing. So as always, if you enjoyed this After Effects tutorial, be sure to subscribe, rate, comment, and share it with your friends.